You know, I'm, I'm interested in your sense of the state of decorum in the roundhouse these days. Yeah. It's a difficulty to, to look at the last couple of sessions or the last few years and, and make a judgment there. And I'm trying to keep my eye on a long sweep of time, but something has changed. Yeah. In your view, what's changed up there? Well, you know, you, you, you see the, the, the national narrative and, and, and that can be very demoralizing at times. You know, I, I have friends that won't even read the news anymore. They're just done. Right. Like, I don't even want to hear, I don't want to hear it. Uh, but, you know, in Santa Fe, like, I, I have a, a lot of friends on the other side of the aisle. Like, contrary to what people believe, after all the bickering and fighting is going on on the House floor, maybe we go out for dinner and hang out right. with a couple of friends that are Democrats or, you know, someone from, you know, a, a political, you know, uh, persuasion that's much different from me because we're mm -hmm. still people and we mm -hmm. still can make that connection. And I think when you, um, it, the numbers in the House right now are so lopsided that there's 45 Democrats, 24 Republicans, and then Phelps Anderson is the is the independent, the, the decline to state individual. Um, and I think Phelps tends to vote mostly with us in most cases. So let's say, let's just call it 25, 45. Sure. Well, that's 12 votes that you have to get from one side to the other to even have a shot at one of your bills that might be a little controversial or whatnot. And I'll tell you what, in the two, in the three years, uh, these last two terms, it's been that, about that number. Um, it's been very frustrating. And sometimes it's frustrating to the point where you just don't even want to talk about it. You know, you mm -hmm. sit there and you say, you know, you could treat us better. You know, with redistricting that just went down, we just had the special session a few weeks ago. Um, there was a map. There was the the, the the redistricting commission that was put together, which, by the way, really didn't have, they didn't have any teeth. They didn't have, they just put maps together and proposed them. Those maps were introduced in the House, but we didn't run, we didn't go with any of those maps. We went with the map that Damon Eli introduced, Representative Eli from, from Corrales area. Uh, and they stood up there on the House floor and said, well, this is one of the, one of the redistricting maps. Okay, well, why isn't it, why is it, it's not unadulterated. You've done something to it. And then as you start looking in the devils in the details, I look in my backyard in Valencia County and they, they slowly switched precincts around from between District 8, District 7 and 49, simply to weaken in terms of political power, District 7 and bolster 8. And so they pack our Republicans into 8 and 49 and take them away from, from 7, thus mm -hmm. creating a winnable situation for House District 7, at least on paper. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you put your hand up, you take the mic and you say things like, well, why weren't we, you know, I know my backyard better than anybody else. Why weren't we consulted? Why are you moving people around for no reason? Why are you now crossing the river two or three different times when those are two different communities of interest in many ways? Let's keep them together. Let's yeah. follow our own rules and do what's right. Whether this county tends to vote Republican now or Democrat, it doesn't matter. It's just a matter of keeping people together. So mm -hmm. that decorum, you know, I'm not going to say it's, it's a madhouse, but there are times in there where, you know, their feelings that get hurt and people will express that and it's a lot of times just kind of you know pushed under the rug or this isn't really that important to us we're going to vote this way whether you like it or not here right. you go 